And now, MCI Academy of the Arts, Sciences, Skin Care, and Hair Removers. All inventions may apply. Get your degree at the School of Mega Millions Selling Stuff. Mega Millions Selling Stuff always starts with the first sellout. And right beside me, I've got Lee with the Tadpole Tape Cutter. It was on HSN just moments ago. And get this, kids, sold out. Flirted with $3,000 a minute. They were looking for half that. And he rocked the house, let me tell you. We were on the Monday Night Show with Adam Freeman. Uh, we, we had a couple thousand to sell. You got through 1,500 of them or 1,400 of them last night. Right. You served up about 600 this morning. You slam dunk that puppy in a few short minutes. And you, I think, I was told, take a look at this uh, picture here. Where well, there we are with Adam, and you were just awesome. You were right on the mark. You're full of energy. Uh, you know, I thought I was full of energy, but you, uh, I tell you something, you got more energy than I do on there. And uh, it was just a fantastic airing. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Acos. I, I can't be thank more you. proud of you. I mean, it all comes together when we meet an inventor, they come onto our show, they come pitch their product. The next thing you know, they're on national television. The, 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 the road is paved. So what was it likely to be on that program? What, what, what were you feeling? What, were you, what, what, what was the feeling in your heart? We've seen those six or seven cameras go on, and there you are, make or break in the next few minutes. How was that feeling well, for you? Once, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I felt like a rock star standing beside, beside ACOS. It's pretty cool. Uh, it just was one, eight, first class all the way. I mean, from the people's personality, their attitudes, from walking in the door to walking out, it was just a great experience. You know, a lot of our inventors say that. It's like, it is like family because, because we, you know, Adam is a good friend of ours, you know, and it shows, right, because yeah. we're kibitzing and having a good time. And, and, you know, we talked the language, so he knew right away when we went into the, the studio, we went into this host room for the pre-production meeting, right? Okay. That's where yeah. you met Adam for the first time. And Adam's a rock star. I mean, he's really got his heart into it. You can really feel it on air when he's pitching the product. And I, it's funny, when you got him to do the box, right? Right. He right. was doing the bad box with the old uh, big Jaws of Life tape cutter that you cut yourself with and you can't get the end on. And you were using your, your, your Tadpole tape cutter. And it was yeah. crazy how fast that went and how you put that thing together. We gave a three pack. There was a one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch. I'd like to send you to the website, but they're sold out. Okay. HSN doesn't have them anymore. I think there's a few on mycoolgadgets.com you can pick up if you want to pick it up. But it was such a fun time. I mean, so so you, you, here you are. You, you're from Louisiana, right? Yes, sir. You invented yes, this sir. how long ago? Uh, well, started on about two years ago. Two? My goodness. Usually when I ask that Any question, it's doors. like 20 years. It's two years. It's, yeah. You know, I think you got the next $100 million idea. Show everybody the invention right here in your hand there. I mean, it's crazy. Camera one. <laughs> <laughs> that camera over there. Hit that okay. one over there. Hold it up nice and high. Well, Hold it up yeah. so you can see. There you go. So you got you got this tadpole tape cutter. You pull it back. And I love this. You see this? It actually serves up the tape ready to use. I'll pull out and tape it. Yeah. I'll pull it off and so rip just, it. Pull. Just let it be natural. Boom. Booyah. Perfect. Cut. All right. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Pull it back. I love this part. This is the part I really love. It's sitting there ready to go. So whether you're using masking tape or packing tape or, or electrical tape, any kind of tape at all, you've invented the perfect solution to serve up that tape every single time. No wonder, you know, you know I got to tell you a secret. You know, we were on HSN last night and, uh, you know, there's a scoreboard. Did you, get, did you catch the scoreboard up there? Yes, sir. I didn't fully understand it, but. Well, uh, but we do. Uh, we saw the, we see the scoreboard. And old John there, he's been on 26, what, 26 years, John? He's a, he was the morning show host. He actually had the job that Shannon was oh, the morning show host oh. for, for oh, a wow. quarter of a decade. Yeah, on wow. there, he was up there for a quarter of a decade, and let me tell you, that scoreboard is important because on the scoreboard, we can see how many calls are coming in, how many you've sold, how many are on hold, or the whole thing. You speak words, fifteen seconds later, you see the reaction. And that's the coolest thing. And I had my eye on the scoreboard last night, and I saw the numbers go to hundred calls, hundred and fifty calls, two hundred calls. I go, okay, two hundred calls. That's kind of average. Two hundred and fifty calls, okay. three hundred calls. Oh, okay, we got something going on here. Then I got four hundred, four hundred and two calls. I go cha ching. <laughs> That's what I heard. Cha ching, home run, and it was so fun to see. So, so, yes. uh, so, how would you sum up that uh, to, uh, that HSN? Would you recommend to inventors to get on HSN? I would recommend. I'd recommend being here. <laughs> right here. I'd recommend being there. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. And uh, it was a great experience. It really was. And and I, th I just think I just think it's such a and the America Dreams program is so great too because they're actually giving American dreamers and inventors a chance. You know there are other shopping channels to put up little web tests and here get 20, 30 units and then they make you sign a contract that you signed away half your life, right? And and really you don't need to do that because I think look at the HSN deal. We went up there. There, there were there was there were nice. They're happy. They 
bought the product and 1900 yeah. 19 or 1900 1900 1900 units and uh, you know they turn a camera on and next thing you know they're gone they're gone yeah. and i have a feeling i can't guarantee this no no guarantees in life but uh, i've already sent the email off as you can probably imagine i think we could sell a hundred thousand kits Maybe even in our first twelve months over there, because I have a feeling we could run. Remember, your Christmas time how this mm -hmm. would sell. Oh yeah, I think it would be just a fantastic item, and that's just HSN. So if you come on to my cool inventions, what what I haven't told Lee yet, we're gonna go hit up the UK, Germany, Italy, Australia, Canada, uh, Japan, because they use tape everywhere. And you were well, telling why? me it's universal, right? Yep, it's a seventy billion dollar industry. Per I'm sorry, year. what? Seventy with a B billion. With a billion B yeah. with a billion. It's, you know, it's if we sold that much, market. we could help that other inventor get the flying hovercraft I'd thing like going off the ground. I'd like to have the second one. <laughs> I, you have the yeah. second one? Yeah. But, but the, the tape cutting is a real problem. So how did you recognize the problem in the marketplace? How did you actually invent this? Why? Well, tell me the story, the inventive story. Well, I'm not a pro, and I don't want to be on painting. Right. I hate to paint, but uh, my wife said the doors need to be painted. So I was spending an hour trying to get this perfect edge for all the windows, <laughs> right. and I quit. So you're masking. I'm done. Yeah, masking all the windows right, prior right. to painting, which takes longer than painting. It by does. the way, and uh, unless you're a professional, which most of us are not, and so I quit. I didn't quit. I stopped. So you were you were ripping the tape. Try, so what yeah, were you doing try, before? I was doing this. So ripping the tape, and then and the edge you wouldn't just be don't right. Right. Get it in the corners of anything. I mean, so you, you if you, if you don't time. get in the corner, what happens? You end up paint. It ends up all those yeah. ragged, ragged then you parts spend time paint. getting that paint off. So I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna do this right. So I went everywhere, and they're like, we don't. I tried to explain what I wanted. They said we don't have it. So I went back to my house, grabbed a steak knife, put it on a there. Steak knife. A, the so the tap cold steak knife. The, the, the tap cold steak cut, <laughs> uh, steak. tape cutter was a steak knife at first. I like okay. steaks. Yeah, me too. All <laughs> right, all right. So you got and a so steak knife across there. You're saying, there, all right. And it went from an hour of taping all those windows to fifteen. Oh, so minutes. you're you're pulling it off on the yeah. steak the steak knife. Just there. A, all right. it was a straight right. clean cut. So how'd you go from the steak knife to okay? We need to invent something to go on the tape roll here. Well, actually, I put it down, and I'm like, as life gets busy, and I'm like, you know, this somebody's got it. That people would love this for saving time. So I started drawing it, getting all the stuff together, the manufacturing, and uh, sp I spent about a quarter million dollars before we sold the first one. I'm not bragging about that, but that's how sure well, I was. Sometimes you got to spend about, money to make money, about right? About people really enjoying it, and when you take it off, you just pull the little cord, pop it off, pop I it think, on another roll. I think that's it's the most simple. I think that's what I liked about it best because you could simple. take your packing tape. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. we were on air this morning, and of course we had that clear packing tape. I'm sitting there picking it. I couldn't find the end, and I don't. I'm doing my big. I don't wear my glasses on TV, so so I can't find the end of it. Sometimes you find it, and you start pulling it, and it goes around the roll, and then you start building up the one yeah, side. Yeah. That's really crazy, right? And of course, it's nuts. So this solves that problem. What I loved about it, it comes in three sizes. You had a one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch, so it covers every every tape roll. And that was the kit on HSN. So it was 1999 free shipping and handling. Because uh, the HSM paid paid to, to get it out to you, and it was just so much fun. I mean, wasn't the energy great? Uh, unbelievable. You could you could feel yes. we were succeeding, right? It's in yes. the air, right? Yeah. And I know you were you've been selling all your life. I mean, I mean, you were telling me you used to go door to door selling yes. stuff and and vacuum totally cleaners. different, and, totally different. But the energy is there, right? You can yes. feel that energy, and yes. it was a, there was an energy in the room. You could just you just knew we were winning. You just yeah. knew we were succeeding. Because by the way, when you don't succeed, it's like crickets. Like things, <laughs> time slows down. Now you had and you ever run around high fiving everybody, and I'm like, I, something's got to be good. So, well, yeah, something's I saw the scoreboard. I knew exactly where it was. <laughs> There's a little red mark on the end of the scoreboard that basically all the telephone calls that are coming in, then it goes into hold, the red. And you were about 30, 40 people were holding to get in line to order. Oh, okay. So I saw the red, and when you see the red, that's when you know the bull sees the red tape because <laughs> we're ready to go. We know we have a big home run going on. So that scoreboard was everything to me. Okay. How was your training? So tell me how about, oh, tell me about the training uh, at HSN. She did real well and just brought us through everything, what to say, what not to say. They had cameras and stuff? Uh, they role played a little not bit? With, well, yes, we went down. We sure did. They put okay. us in a little room and we had a ton of fun. And I said, and the next caller gets a free vacation to Hawaii. And they kind of, I think they edited that. Yeah, they probably we, would. We were yeah, trying yeah. To sell. It's hard to make money when you get free <laughs> free Hawaiian vacations to people who are buying. But no, it, 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 were you alone? Did you have other guys there? No, we had, a, we had a guy uh, doing the mic, uh, Melissa. Uh -huh. She was. Uh, Anybody else with being me. trained or talking. you were personally trained? Uh, person, we were doing it together. Oh. Yes. Normally, there's five or six people being trained at once. You had a private session, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I already got an email nice. from her this morning. Nice. Does she congratulate her? Mm -hmm.
She said, good job. I gave her props. Yeah, I tell, oh, yeah good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when the trainer calls and said, one of yeah. these. You know, the trainer's walking around the studio going, you know why he's so successful? I trained him, you know. Like, yeah. I'm sure. But it was a real team effort, and I love HSN for that. And thank you so much yeah. to the guys at HSN, the teams over there, and Dara and Jamie and the whole team that, that supports the America Dreams program. I know it's a, a private initiative from the president, Bill Brand. I know he, 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 re, he really champions this whole thing, and well, for good reason, because it is a fantastic program. And if you're not already submitted, what are you waiting for? You go to mycoolinventions.com, submit be on the program, get a good thumbs up, not a thumbs down. So do that pitch really well, that 60 second pitch, because every every few weeks we have a meeting with HSN. They were here for, for Friday. They were actually came to our offices oh, wow. Friday. They wanted to see our little studio because they've heard so much about it. It's kind of small, right? But boy, it's big. It's big on the outside, isn't it? Well, you're right we, next door to the big boys. I, we <laughs> are. We're right next. Here. We can actually I see the HSN tower. We can actually see <laughs> yeah. HSN from our window there. And yeah. uh, they came over and they chose eight. Pro I think eight products, John. Right? Eight products. Wow. Uh, they chose eight products to go on again. So hit after hit after hit. So submit, please submit. Go to mycoolinventions.com and submit your product. Who knows? You may have the next hundred million dollar idea. And I think you do have the next hundred million dollar idea. I've seen a couple tests now. I've seen a little flavor. We did the deal of the week, so I saw the activity and I go, hmm, they're reacting to it. Now we put them live on air where people have to pick up a telephone and drop twenty dollars. And we had nineteen hundred people do that in a few short minutes. So that's a Very good tight. thumbs up. Now I think the thing we should make a television commercial, put it on the DIY network and put it on all those networks and drum up, you know, let's sell a hundred million of them. You know, just Ooh. just for just for giggles, just for some fun. <laughs> let's build that wall one brick at a time. Lee, <laughs> sir, you're awesome. You're great. You are the American dream. See this guy Thank over you, here? Sir. This guy is the typical American inventor. Good old American boy making American products, selling them to Americans. This is why we do this program, because at My Cool Inventions, we lift families, American families, one innovator, one inventor, one American at a time. My Cool Inventions Network continues, so stick around.